next guest has returned to my show. Now, she's a host, a journalist, and she knows more than a thing or two about law. Her mission this month is to help women take control of their heart health. Please welcome Star Jones. Hey, girl! Hey, everybody! Girl, don't let me fall up here. I know, girl, I know they... <laughs> Come girl, here, my sister. I know! You got your ring on! I know! Have a seat. Thank you, lady. sis. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. You know, it's funny, the, the last time we saw each other, we got back together at The View to give a tribute to Barbara Walton. Oh, Sherry, girl. Well, I know she gave me great advice, but what's some of the best advice she gave you? Um, I have to tell you, sitting next to her for nine years is literally the thrill of a lifetime as a journalist. You know that? And Barbara first said, um, pay attention to the answer. Yes. Quit focusing on the question. You remember that? Yes, I Because we had those cards, and <laughs> sometimes you could get stuck on the cards, but she said, pay attention to the answer because it's the second question, the follow-up question that's gonna give you what you want. Ooh! That's some BW kind of stuff. But then she also gave me one piece of advice that was hilarious, and I told your people, don't tell you. <laughs> what was that? She said, don't let anybody sit in your seat and replace you, because they might replace you. Is that hilarious? Okay, but this how secure you are. You like, oh, look, I, hey, I'm I was like, to. well, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but I just thought that was so wonderful that even at her age, she was like, girl, you better know that this is your seat. If you want to be here, <laughs> okay. then don't be letting folk come up in here. <laughs> I love it. It was such great advice. Oh, gosh. But see, that we, what, what Barbara didn't know was can't nobody replace Star. Uh, and, and not at all. Baby. Not at all. She really did foster some great talent Absolutely. over the years. And I have to tell you, most people don't realize how much you are truly my sister. Yeah. We just oh. love and support each other because, since you are so talented, how great is Sherry? I mean, well. I mean, you are so talented. Oh, my gosh. I love you. you. I mean, and, and you are so right. And, and one thing I love is I love the way you love and I love who loves you. Ah. And you are celebrating your fifth anniversary with someone who loves you, and that is Ricardo, your husband. Girl. Baby. Look, you I see Ricardo sitting right here in the audience. Raise your hand, Ricardo. Hey. You gotta go. This is the only audience of any show that I have done that he wanted to come to. He loves you, girl. Oh, Ricardo! Yes, indeed. His only thing he said he would come to. Oh. It'll be five years in March. How does that feel, girl? It's wonderful. It honestly is wonderful. I've asked God for somebody kind and and loving and who could get all of me. And sometimes when I go off like this, just pull the little string down from the balloon. Yes. And he does all of that and more. And then he brought me my Jake. He's just everything. He really is everything. And this, and, and people don't even understand. Star always has this glow. She's always <laughs> smiling. You know, that's, Ricardo is somewhere near. <laughs> when you have this, that glow, you kind of, and he brought me my Jake. You know that, honey. And Jake, you know, your son, he calls you Noni? Noni. Noni. Okay. N-O-N-I, Noni. 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 Where, where did Noni come from? Well, he came to me before we got married, mm -hmm. and he said, I'm never going to be comfortable calling you Star. You're going to be okay. my mother, but I have mommy, and that's his mom. Yes. He said, but I had to come up with a name, and I said, you can come up with whatever you want, sweetheart, as long as they're going to make a T-shirt that have it on it. Uh -oh. And as you can see, Noni... A, just a title just above Queen. Ah, and that's, that's me, it. Honey. That's it. That's me. That's I'm his noni. He's going to college next year, so we're in the middle of all of that drama. But he's a brilliant student, 4.0 average, and a good kid. His dad raised the right kid. His dad and you and mommy in there. I mean, you, it is so funny you said, you know, going through that drama. No, the drama is dog on divorce court. You have oh. celebrated, four, you've celebrated a hundred episodes. I'm proud. So far. Thank you, sweetheart. And she just got renewed ah! for another season. I'm coming back. I'll be watching you on yeah. the show, Star. You don't play around on no. divorce court. Mm -mm. But it's so funny, when, you, when, you, when you're listening to it, are there certain red flags that come up? 100%. Social media is the devil. Plain really? Y'all really? can say what y'all want to, but everybody slide into folk DMs, going on over to the Facebook, and talking to the people you're not supposed to talk to, and slipping your top off, and then taking a picture <laughs> of it. Is that what they be doing? Baby, that's what...
what the couples be doing, and the next thing you know, the other person in the partnership is like, uh uh. And I'm telling you, the social media influx into people's relationships has caused more problems than anything. I'd say literally 70% of the cases wow. come in with some social media problems. Stay off that stuff when you're trying to be with somebody, okay? Oh, wow. Keep your stuff to yourself and don't ever bring somebody else into your house that you just met on social media, okay? I'm trying okay. to give you that advice. Okay, so we'll take it. We'll take it. So I guess I better put up that, <laughs> that little picture I had with my top a little bit. Yes, there. Just honey. Take that off Ooh, and take that off. Lord social have mercy. <laughs> so I am so glad you're here because it is, this is Wear Red Day. This is National Wear Red Day. National says. Wear Red Day. Mm-hmm. And we're doing it because we're bringing attention to heart health. Yes. And can you tell us why heart health is so important? Well, you know, Sherry, I'm a heart disease survivor and I like to add thriver because a dozen years ago, I had full-blown open-heart surgery. Um, and interestingly enough, Barbara Walters, two months later, had open-heart yeah, surgery. Well. And so, I mean, we really were connected. But just to think about my heart being stopped for 22 minutes, mm. it made this my mission. So no one has to ask me to do it. I'm national volunteer for the American Heart Association for a dozen years because it's so personal. And it impacts on every single person. It yeah. impacts on women, in, on men, on young people, on old people, and I should say older people since I'm in that category now. <laughs> and I have to tell you, this year has been in, on a, in a lot of people's minds because we all saw that brilliant young football player, Damar Hamlin, yes, go down did. on the field on Monday Night Football. But he got up. Look at yes, God. He, did. he got he did. up because there was technology. But it was also the ability to bring him back. And CPR, and what we're really focused on this month is hands only CPR. Yeah. You can learn in three minutes and help save someone's life. I want y'all to try to go in, go on to um, heart.org, get yeah. the information, give some money to the AHA because it could save your life, mm -hmm. and then challenge three friends. I'm challenging you. And let's okay. challenge them other hoochies over at The View. <laughs> and, and let's and, all and do let's this. Let's all do it. Okay? We can do that. We Absolutely. can do that. I will challenge three friends. Yes. You know what I did not realize, Star? Um, is that African American women are most at risk Absolutely, for having sis. a heart attack? Absolutely, out of any uh, age group. Mm -hmm. So it was just like I, when you went in and you were seeing the doctor. Did you know about any of that before you? No, diagnosis? and Sherry, I'm supposed to be the smart one. You know, the folk call me on the phone and ask all the Everything. questions, right? Um, I thought it was an old white guy's disease. No lie. Because that's what you would see. You would right. see older white men smoking cigars, drinking whiskey in the steakhouse. That's not it. It impacts on women and young people all across the board, and especially African-American women, wow. especially mothers, new mothers. So this is something that we need to bring attention to. It's the number one killer of black women. I continues to be the number one killer of black women. We have to put our own health first. Yeah. I know we stress, but we have to put our own health first. You know, it's so much stress because we used to taking care of everybody and so much. And, and the thing about it is so many women put off going to the doctor. Come on, girl. We make feeling bad is our norm. I know. And so if you were to say anything to women who don't go to the doctor, who put their family first, their friend, my parents, before they put themselves first, what would you say to them? I'm going to tell you very easily. Like they say on the airplane, put your own oxygen mask on first. OK? Because if mama ain't healthy, ain't nobody right. healthy. Right. And there, there are really three things that we should be focused on. OK. First of all, don't smoke. I'm all sorry. Right. Do not smoke. Number two, eat less and be healthier, okay, with your eating. Yeah. And number three, move more. Yes. Okay? That's what you have to do. Move more. Yeah. Okay? Oh, and I forgot, know your numbers. And that's, uh, like, cholesterol. Yes, you need to know your good and your bad cholesterol. Okay. You need to know your blood pressure, your body mass index. You, you have to know your blood sugar. Yeah. All of those numbers. Listen, you know everything else. You know what's happening on The Real Housewives. Know your numbers. Okay? You better check somebody, okay. Star Joe. We trying to save <laughs> lives up in this piece.
things here. We are trying to save lives because we got a purpose. And so many women, we have children. Yes, ma'am. And who we need to be here for our kids and this legacy. That if mama need. ain't healthy, ain't nobody healthy. That's right. And I got your back on Jeffrey. You got my back on Jake. But we need you here, sis. So we gonna check on you all the time. That's right. You gonna you be too. my heart, sister. I'm gonna <laughs> make sure, girl. You better wear that ring. <laughs> Heart Health, go to sherryshowtv.com.